I want to perform a quick DAC and uh, I'm going to use my Olympus Epic 1000i two and a quarter half inch transducer and a 45 degree wedge and I have this piece of uh, carbon steel it is um, uh, about an inch and a half thick it has some 40,000 side drilled holes in it at 200 uh, thousands, four hundred thousand, six hundred, eight hundred thousands, uh, one inch, one point two inch. So I'm going to make a deck one, two, three, four, five, a six point deck from point two inches to one point two inches. And I'm going to do the quick deck. So um, what we do, we, we, of course, we calibrate our our machine, and then um, in our options, we go to screen four or five sizing options press the sizing options down here it says DAC for distance amplitude correction DAC or TVG time very gain press that I'm going to press ASME and then I'm going to hit the return key and I'm going to couple this transducer put some coupling on this thing and what I'm going to do I'm going to use peak memory and right there is our first hole our point two hole let me take the gate um well I can leave the gate where it is what I want to do I want to do peak memory so I press the peak memory sorry let me turn the deck off let me turn it back on ASME return key so I have a peak memory so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over each of these holes that's the 0.2 inch hole deep hole here comes the 0.4 inch deep hole I'll go back and forth over a couple times here comes the 0.6 inch deep hole. Now the 0.8 inch deep hole. One inch. One point two inch. Now I'm going to take my gate, move it over this 0.2 inch hole, and I'm going to press add. It will add the peak in that peak memory. Move my gate over to the 0.4 inch deep hole, add. Move the gate over to the 0.6 inch deep hole add 0.8 inch deep add 1 inch deep add and 1.2 inch deep add then press P4 which is done and that's my deck curve so as I hit I turn off the peak memory so now as I it's a 0.2 inch hole 0.4 should come up near uh, that deck line 0.6 there it is 0.8 1 and 1.2 now I can also press TVG time varied gain It'll straighten that line out. And there's my 1.2 inch hole. There's a 1 inch hole. You'll see electronically it will move all these signals up to that level that we set with the DAC. The uh, electronics will compensate for the gain uh, according to the sound path. See that? Now let's go back to our DAC view and you see that curve 
and the curve looks kind of funny. Well, one thing to remember is near field. In the near field calculation for this probe, the half inch probe, half inch diameter, 5 megahertz, near field is your diameter squared times the frequency of your transducer divided by 4 times the velocity. We're using a half inch diameter transducer, we're squaring that. Uh, two and a quarter megahertz is a uh, 2.25 times 10 to the 6 hertz or cycles and then 4 times 0.128 inches per microsecond or 0.128 inches times 10 to the minus 6 seconds that's the velocity of uh, shear velocity in mild steel so when we uh, do the math uh, you see some of the inches uh, cancel out keeping one inch up here seconds cancel out and uh, the 10 to the 6 cancels out bottom line is the near field on this probe is 1.4 inches excuse me 1.1 inches meaning the sound path we're in the near field until the sound path exceeds 1.1 inch and let's look at the sound path uh, the sound path is the, the thickness or the depth of our holes divided by the cosine of the angle. In our case, um, the angle is a 45 degree. So that 0.2 deep hole, this guy, this guy, and 0.6 are all in the near field. 0.8, the sound path is 1.13. We're just now getting into the far field. So the rest of these holes are in the far field. So let's look at this for a minute. 0.2, see that curve? How it's this is in the near field. This is in the near field. Not, uh, not, not completely reliable. Let me put some coupling on here because when we squeeze it out, it shows just how uh, the effect that your touch has on this. So near field, 0.2 deep, 0.4 deep near field. 0.6 deep, we're still in the near field right here. But then at the point eight, we start getting in the far in in the far field, and uh, you see how it attenuates and kind of curves down. And right now it shows the coupling, how uh, the pressure of the transducer and how I squeeze the coupling out. It has an impact on uh, the uh, amplitude of our signal. But that is uh, just a, a quick overview of the quick DAC that uh, we can set with um, with this with uh, the distance amplitude correction and time varied gain.